Good morning, and welcome back to Mobile Branch Farm. I welcome you to the videos, baggy eyes, scratchy voices, fighting with goats, and unusable milk. Enjoy. A lot of these, I'm not going to take um, a full milking just because I want them to get in the habit of coming in here as a routine every morning and that it means food and pets and every move should be very deliberate. Um, I don't want to kind of be fumbling around here to see it makes them nervous. So every move is deliberate. It's a routine milking. It's all right, Alma. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. There we go. It's all right. And Mossy is not a first time freshener. Mossy has been stand broken before. She's just getting back into use, into the, the normal routine. And it's my first year milking her. She came from another farm because we just built our herd. Um, she may always just have these habits of wanting to tap dance and that's fine. I'll just know that once her food starts getting low, I might need to take a hold of a hand and go to a single hand milking. We do have an electric milker, but for right now, it's good for them just to get used to this because what if the battery dies or what if I just don't have it when we go to like a show or we go to linear appraisals or anything like that. Um, it sh they should know that it's okay to be hand milked. You okay. You saw me wash down the teat and it's because this is an open passageway for infections and bacteria. So I've milked her, I washed her before and pat dried her. Now I have um, teat disinfectant for control of mastitis because I don't want her getting mastitis and I didn't take everything because I'm getting ready to put her babies back out with her and they'll take the rest. So and I'm sure she's not gonna like this, but be out for a good while before the babies get out to her so those won't that won't hurt at all. And I might just and like things like this where she's tap dancing I might just hold on to her udder until she relaxes and goes back to eating. Um, sometimes that's just about the only thing you can do is until they calm down enough with your hand on there that they get it. Like if this isn't a bad thing this doesn't mean I'm gonna hurt you it's just it's normal so it'll be normal in a couple days when we've been doing this every single morning for a whole week so i'm hoping when i bring you guys back in a week from today that you'll see a difference hopefully you okay mama so willow's really good at this she's um she already came right in jumped on the stand so, and she's been milked a few years, so she knows. Day five of milking, and guys, I figured out another reason why I like being out here so early besides routine, mental health, me time, reflection time, whatever you want to call it. But guys, take a look at this site. Look at that sunrise. So beautiful. And as always, video does not do it any justice. 
it's been a week since we started our milking routine. And you guys can tell it's a lot quieter in here. You can't hear so many screaming kids. My girl's already starting to line up outside. And um, I'm hoping you guys will see how far they've come in just seven days of a routine because it's amazing. You guys only got to see a few does. So the worst one was Pearl. Pearl would just like lay down on the bucket. So <laughs> that was really fun, guys. Let me tell you what. So hopefully you guys will be able to see a big difference, especially like in Mossy and everybody. They shouldn't be kicking and carrying on so much. So let's get to it, guys. Let's finish up this morning. Um, we've got our wash bucket for our udders. I've got this little handy dandy thing for milk. And I've got my little pot up there to actually milk into. So um, we'll probably do a separate video on all the how-tos and what you need for milking. But uh, we'll get there. So enjoy, guys. As we move through this video, you might notice that Tiana, along with some of the other does, have snotty noses. That's because it's springtime here in East Central Indiana. We're monitoring it and medicating as needed. It doesn't help that the nighttime temperatures are dipping down, sometimes in the 30s and then raising up to 60 during the day, and their allergies wreak havoc just as much as ours do at this time of the year. We do monitor it and we do medicate as needed. Earlier in the video, you may have noticed that Tiana wouldn't let me touch or handle her udder without doing a tap dance. Now she lets me milk her with ease. She doesn't show any fear when I go in to touch her udder, clean it, um, or milk her out and strip her completely. That's just in a week's time. She's been so good. Icky nose, so we need to wipe that nose off, Mama. Here. No, I know, I know, it's not fun, but you guys got yucky noses. So goats get colds and allergies like we do. I have about three or four right now that have like this really thick runny nose kind of like i do right now um with the temperatures dropping at night but getting high is like almost the high 60s at night so uh, we're just really combating that but they're all a little temperamental this morning and i don't know why That's another reason why I like having these babies in this weaning pen. Some of these mommies will hold back their milk, but when they come in here and they hear their babies bawling, they'll they let down the milk. So if you ever have a doe that's kind of withholding on you, you might want to play like a recording of a baby goat because it usually gets her attention. And I've noticed just in this week that it might feel like she's soft and empty, but the moment they start bawling, it's like I get a whole nother wave of milk and it's just because they're letting down. It's just a natural response to hearing their babies. All right, we just finished with our last dough and it has been a full week of this routine. They're all doing a lot better. Some of them still have a ways to go. And like all animals, they have good days and they have bad days. Some of them had not so good days on the stand today. Some of them had better than usual days. Um, Tiana got on the stand by herself um, without, with a little nudging, not with me picking, cause usually I have to pick up her front and put her on there and then give her a little tail just to kind of nudge towards her head to say, hey, you need to keep going up. So I'm happy with the, I'm happy with the amount of progress that they've made in a week because then by September they're gonna be pros and then by this time next year, when they're kidding again, it should come back. It should be like riding a bicycle it is for us. So I'm really excited about that, guys. I can't wait to bring you on some goat milk recipe videos because I've already started drinking it raw. We do have a pasteurizer because my husband and daughter prefer it pasteurized. I prefer it raw. So I always keep a little bit aside for myself that's been sifted through over and over and over and over to make sure we get all the hair, dirt, debris that may have fallen into the bucket 
during milking, but that's just how I like it. So I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thanks for being here with us while we've been doing our milking. We really appreciate it. Um, we probably will do a video like eight, five, eight, ten things you need to know about milking or the supplies you need to have before you start milking because this was just kind of like a rough of, hey, we're starting to milk and we're going to see how their routine changes. So there'll be more milking videos coming, guys. So stay tuned for that. If you found yourself liking this video at any time, let us know, leave us a like, drop us a comment, and subscribe. We post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and if you want your real-time updates on what's going on on Mulberry Branch Farm, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. I'll have both of those links down in the description below, guys. So until next time, thanks for being here with us. Bye.